Hey everybody, it's me, Pardis, and as promised, I'm about to share with you the secret behind my live streams, how I've been doing my live streams for the past couple of months since April. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Prism. Prism is the app that I use for my live streams. I was looking through the app store and I couldn't find any app that I was like really happy with. I was looking for a multi-streaming app that I can do from my phone because I'm always traveling. I'm always on the road. And as many of you have noticed, my living situation is not very stable. I'm constantly moving from one place to another. You might notice from my live streams, the backgrounds are constantly different. So I needed something that I can do from my phone anywhere let's take a look inside the app i'm going to show you some of the features all right i'm going to show you some of the features from the app i'm going to record my screen here so you know what i'm talking about and here we go here we are we're on the prism app we've got the option to go live we've got the option right here live live we've got the option to make videos we've got the option to take photos first of all i'm going to say that there's many different things you can do with lighting i'm using my own personal light right now so as you can see turn it off turn it on i'm using my own personal light but there's of course different features in the app itself as you can see right over here we've got the option to click on different lighting we've got we can we can make we've got different things that we can different shades and this is darker i don't like this i don't like this darker i don't like this black and white we can go black and white we can What's this one? This is kind of like a warm-ish, also a little bit dark. Also, maybe a little bit cooler, but all right. I don't remember what we were on. I don't remember what we were on. Do you remember? I think we were on this. Before we go live, just gonna point out a few things. Up here, the top right, the top left corner, we've got my face. It's a profile, that's where you can find a lot of the settings. We've and, and also it's gonna show you some of the past videos that you've done in your live streams. You've got up here, got up here in the left, farthest left corner, you've got um the ability to change your preferences, take the mic on and on or off, flip the camera. You can also save the video after you live stream. Personally, I like to save some of clips from my live stream so that I can use them in other videos. Let's check out some of the different filters that we can put in. These are some of my most recent filters. Tap on the screen. Here we've got backgrounds. We're gonna turn these off. We've got some face filters. Face filters, hello, woo! Check it out. We've got some weird, you can, you can turn my face into a pizza. You can add little hearts, bows mm -hmm. on my face. You can turn me into a chef. And we've got a whole other library here of filters. We've got another library here of backgrounds. You can turn this into a live channel. Reporting live from Pardis's many, many, many locations since she's constantly just all over the place and can't seem to get her shit together. Okay. We can add smiley faces. We can add smiley faces. Woo! Crying. Happy face. Cheese. What up, what up, what up? Heart face. Ooh, I like it. Angry face, bad. And a cool face, 
check it out. Check out how cool I am. I'm a rainbow. So we got all these different faces. <sighs> and they change each time, apparently. You can draw, you can draw on this app in different colors. And of course, you can add a text on the screen. You can add lists, you can add numbers. Let's go right here. We're gonna click it, and now it's yellow. The yellow means that you can, that when you hit it, it's gonna go live. Now I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete this title, and I'm gonna change it to how to create an epic live stream using a single app. I should have been able to do that faster. All right, so now we got our title uh, here, over here. We can set an intro video and it's gonna play it before the live stream starts. And down here, where you see the YouTube button, we're gonna click it. You can add multiple channels to live streams. Personally, I like to do YouTube, Periscope, and Twitch. From YouTube, I'm gonna set it on private because I don't want anybody to see this because it's a test. Also, the video resolution, you got the option of changing it to 360p if you got lower speed internet, you can even go up to uh, 1080 pixels, which is really high quality. That's if you got high speed internet, it will work. So I usually leave it at 720, but the stream quality, you can really adjust it high if you want. So we're gonna go live. We're gonna go live on YouTube right now. Get ready. Starting in landscape mode. Three, two, one. We are live. We are live on a private live stream. You're not going to see anybody on this um, because, and, and, and usually you can see right up there, the top, how many people are watching, how many, how many likes you're getting, and it's great. We're not going to see any of that because this video is private and nobody is seeing us go live except for me and you. So here's where we talk. We've got our back studio over here. We can play some music. And we've got kitties. These are Daniel Bostick's kitties. My friend Daniel Bostick. I love him. And we can move, we can move them around wherever we want. We can move around the kitties. We can move the kitties around. You guys see me often talk to the viewers as I'm doing these live streams. And you're just like, who's she talking about? Who is she addressing? She's addressing, you know, like Lisa LL490. Who is she addressing? What? We don't see that. Well, here's who I'm addressing. Since my, my live streams go to multiple different platforms, they go to Twitch, Periscope, and YouTube. So all of my comments will appear on the screen as I'm talking. As you can see, all of my comments are appearing one after another while I'm talking. Right here, you've got the option of commenting in response to the viewers. It's gonna show up there. You got the option to go and add in a video and watch a video together with your viewers. So no, so Taylor Swift does this thing where she hires body lookalikes, like people who look just like her, and they will, they're basically on standby when she needs to go places. So she has in the past, like in her apartment in New York. Ah, I remember that. That's Daniel Bostick's cat. That's Daniel Bostick's cat. And then we've got the video only mode, which is basically when I don't wanna see the comments of my viewers because they're driving me crazy and some of them are trolls and they're just so mean and I basically just watch it in the video only mode. All right, 
So now we're going to end the live stream, hit the end button right up there, and you say goodbye to all of your viewers, say goodbye, hit the end button, and it says ending live broadcast. And you're done. So as you saw, it's pretty simple. I was able to do all of that from my phone. I have people ask me all the time, like you do live streams, like you just sit and talk live for an hour, sometimes two hours. Why do people watch that every day, an hour or two? Why would somebody watch that? And I was like, I don't know, man, I watch that. It's like having somebody in your living room talking to you. You don't have to be a professional to have a conversation with somebody. You just have to, you just have to be yourself. All right, that's it for today. My name is Pardes and see you all tonight on my live stream.